Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews. In this episode, we take a look and review on the action RPG with a Souls like combat with Flintlock The Siege of Dawn. From the same developers who had previously released Ashen, some of the best parts of that game was a Souls like combat with a nice art style. I was very excited to see what they could do with Flintlock. Flintlock The Siege of Dawn was developed by A44 Games and released by Kepler Interactive for the Windows PC, PlayStation 5, and the Xbox Series X and S. This third person action RPG places the player in a war where mankind is trying to survive against the old gods as they try to escape extermination. The story revolves around Nor Vanek, who is thrust into this war against the old gods. Nor is recruited by Enki, another old god, whose mission is to stop the old gods who are at the pinnacle of destroying life as we know it. As long as Uru is free, your world is in mortal peril. Help me seal him away. Stem the tide of destruction. It's the least you can do. You have a deal. The story is very simple, as Nor is on a quest to defeat the old gods. There are some story elements, but is pretty much straightforward. I did feel the side quest felt more developed and would bring up backstories for your companions. I felt that these side quests were much heavier and meatier to the overall feel of the story that had me caring much more for the companions that we had. Other than their specific side quests, your companions are just there to level up your stats and helping you get stronger. There wasn't too much interaction besides those elements. It's unfortunate that some of the side quests were quite gripping where I would have loved more interaction with them. The gameplay has the combat revolve around a Souls-like experience with heavy blows and strategic fighting. I'm not very good at Souls-like, but I was able to enjoy my time with the combat. As you become more powerful and upgrade your stats and movesets, it was fun to experiment and fight enemies who come across. I would repeat many battles as the enemies respawn just to get more of that addictive combat. You fight with the primary axe and choice of gun that can range from pistols, rifle, and a spread to even fire. This made portions of the game much more strategic as each gun has their own feel in combat from stopping enemy attacks. Firing at a distance in combination to your enemy is extremely important. As you progress through the world and rid of the old gods, you will venture from town to town and cleanse the area of danger, returning to them to a peaceful environment. This happens repeatedly and does lose its importance factor after a while as you move from area to area. You will gain more and more reputation as experience as you level up by helping others to just fighting in combat. I did like the option to cancel upgrades that you have chosen to choose a different path and experiment. This helped me tremendously, as especially when I experienced different bosses that required a much, much different approach. The visuals are nice in their world design. The designs of the gods were a treat, as they are very well designed and animated. These were the best parts of the game, as they are much more extravagant and fleshed out in comparison to the rest of the world. The cycle intact. But no more. We're no longer the Death God! You cannot presume to demand me! And you're too diminished to make me. Overall, Flintlock had a lot going for it when it comes to combat and ease of use for weaker souls like gamers like me, but they definitely could have pushed the main campaign much more like the side quests. Flintlock Siege of Dawn gets a 7.0 out of 10 for its wonderful combat and side quests that is hampered by its forgettable main campaign and overall story. I still love finishing the game for its addictive gameplay, but just wished for more on its story and lore. That's it for this look at Flintlock. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great.
to take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. What's to stop me starting with you? Nothing. Death to gods. <laughs> Yeah. Uh.